collegeinfogeek.com. That sounds... Sounds like, like he made that up in college. <laughs> I did. I made it up in five minutes. Okay. I never looked back. All right, guys, we are here with Thomas Frank from collegeinfogeek.com and your personal astrophysicist, Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson. And a geek d- sympathizer. A geek sympathizer. <laughs> and me, just a geek. What's the number one thing that people want to know? Seriously, like what? Because I know your thing is mm-hmm. about knowing. Like if I don't, if I want to do better or know something more, you, you guys are kind of in the same space, you know? That yeah. it's like, you know, that's we, were, what, we are into knowing. Into knowing. What's like the number one thing What's that the number students one thing that ask? students want to know? What do they ask? And it is, it is bar none, how do I focus? How do I stop getting distracted? And how do I motivate myself? To actually wait, learn. I gotta, I gotta I was gonna finish say, this tweet. Wait, wait, I gotta do this. I'm finished <laughs> binging say, on this. Is your answer put this down? <laughs> yeah, put yeah, the, it is. Is that really your answer? I think if you Google how to stop wasting time, like my put site is one of the Put the smartphone down and, and that, back away yeah. from the. <laughs> so I kid you not, I have, I have a, a program on my phone that literally blocks all the websites that I tend to go to when I'm distracted. I can't go to Reddit anymore. You gotta wrap your own wrist. Yeah, well, I, I think that um, like training wheels or like limitations actually do help us. And if we don't, we don't have them, then we tend to just, I don't know, go to our base instincts. Do you think you're more productive when you're multitasking? No. Okay, but there are a lot of so people who what, believe they are. Multitasking versus multifocus, right? Because oh. multitasking, like you can ride a bike and talk on the phone at the same time because your brain has sort of gotten bike riding to a second nature thing. Right. But if you're trying to multifocus, you're trying to do some astrophysics and uh, also So you can have some juggle. autonomic tasks that are yeah, not a problem. I think, yeah, if you've baked That's something into muscle memory, then multitasking is, you know, playing and singing at the same time. Right. If you practice both, you can do it. But so I could do astrophysics and chew gum at the same time. Yes. Well, right. how good at chewing gum are you? Pretty good. I haven't asked. So. Yeah, I go way back. <laughs> Me and Gum go way back. When I think about learning how to learn and learning effectively and you know all these tools I have on my phone to kill distractions, for me it's just like, am I interested in the thing I'm learning about? And because I have the opportunity to talk with you, I want to ask you, like, how do we get people interested in science and STEM and things like that and stay interested as it gets difficult? Hmm. So I, I have a unorthodox an unorthodox view on that. Okay. I don't think the challenge is to get people interested because as children, we are all curious about the natural world to the point where we put our lives at risk in the expression of that curiosity. But what is the, the cliff ledge? Let me crawl over to it. What is this knife? What is this fire? Dial it back one notch and the curiosity may just result in a completely messy home but you don't have kids so that you maintain a neat home. That's not the goal. Yeah. The goal is you want to raise kids. So if you're going to raise kids, let them explore. You you want to raise free range children. Hmm. I hear they're delicious. (laughs) I was going to try not to make that joke. (laughs) That's why we have Chuck. This is the whole, now you understand why we have Chuck. I have no filter. So so what you do is you don't get in their way Mm -hmm and you nurture the curiosity they already have, then they become curious adults. Okay. And if they become a curious adult, as adults, that's a scientist. Mm. Yeah. Scientist is a kid who never grew up. Well, they grew up, but they're still as curious as they were as kids. If there's something weird happening over there, and you have kids, and you have scientists, and you have everybody else, the kids and the scientists will run to, what is that? Mm -hmm. Let's figure it out. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, let's test it. And everybody else. That's why they always die first in a horror film. Because they're too curious. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I gotta know. <laughs> uh, and plus, I feel strongly that the challenges of the world do not pivot on whether we have scientifically literate children. They pivot on whether we have scientifically literate adults. Mm-hmm. Adults outnumber kids five to one. Adults vote, wield resources, money, power. The heads of agency, heads of state, uh, heads of organizations yeah and if you have such a community of people who are not scientifically literate yet they have power of decision over others that's a recipe for a disaster it's the unraveling of an informed democracy and so for me if you fix that problem the kid problem is solved overnight you don't have debates about whether science should be in a curriculum because all the adults know that it should be so right. your hope is moving us toward a society where people who are scientifically literate are in positions of power. In position of power. Decisions. And I think that's a faster solution 
than training the eighth grader to be scientifically literate, than waiting around 30 years until they become head of agency so that the world can become scientifically literate. I'm not that patient. Yeah. Cool. That's I don't know how yeah. to get people like that into positions of power. I suppose my, my uh, wheelhouse is hopefully being a little more patient. Let me be more softer <laughs> and say, they don't have to be in power, but who's in power needs to know that they need to be listened to. Yes because they have access to the operations of nature mm -hmm. and legislation that depends on an accurate understanding of the operations of nature requires enlightened leaders who, if not themselves, are scientifically literate. They have advisors who are yeah. and know how to heed such advice. So what we need, I think, transitioning through middle school is a culture, which I think is a little bit there, where curiosity and learning and the embracing of education become value commodities in the dating circles. Now, I don't need everybody to be a scientist, but just understand what science is, how and why it works. And when 97% of scientists achieve an observational and experimental consensus that something is true, you don't turn around and say, well, I choose to believe the 2% because I prefer that. Yeah. That it's not, this is not a healthy world to be in, if mm -hmm. that's how people are carrying on. Anyway, if you guys are interested in learning how to learn, becoming better learners, I think one of the best ways to do it is to get actively involved in what you're learning, whether it's calculus or astronomy or machine learning. And if you're interested in any of those topics or anything else in the realms of math and science and computer science, brilliant.org is an amazing resource that is built around the concept of active learning. So instead of sitting in the classroom passively listening to a lecture, talking about your dog's name on day one, you're thrown into a problem and then you have to solve it. And I think we were talking about interest earlier. This is why I like Brilliant, because the, the active challenges build that interest and they get you really, you know, just really want to solve that problem. And that effectively helps you learn a lot better than that passive learning. So if you want to start learning for free today, you can go over to brilliant.org slash startalk, right? That's right. And the first 79 people who sign up are also going to get 20% off of their first annual premium subscription. So definitely head over there and sign up today. If you want to see more videos from Star Talk, hit the subscribe bar and click the little bell button to get notifications every single time that we upload a video and give us a like or a comment to express your passion. As always, I bid you to keep looking up.